down. We are back in the house after Carrie's elimination. The bitch is gone. She is finally out of the competition and it's now the eight of us and I have a feeling the competition is definitely heating up. Zahavia has three wins, which is unbelievable. Liberty has two. Brenda has one, Callie has one, Kiana has one. So it's kind of like the race for who gets another win. How do you feel, Callie? Honestly, I feel kind of refreshed. Like my aura in this competition is totally replenished and I feel so much better than I have right now. Like I feel so much better. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I kind of was prepared to go like, I I was not ready to give up and just go home and like, if I was against you, Callie, I think I would be a pr really bad because I feel really bad being against you and, you know, Carrie, she's been resting on pretty this whole competition and I think it was, I think it was her time, but I will miss her. She was really nice. Yeah, she was. She was actually really sweet. Besides that one little boo-boo that she had, you know, she's not a bad girl. Like, she's really a genuine person and... I wish nothing but Carrie the best. I mean, I know that she worked really hard to get here, just like all of us, and top eight, this is weird. Whitney, I would love to know, how do you feel knowing that one of the girls that you was almost going to send you home, she's gone now, how do you feel? And you were in the top this week. Bitch, I'm on cloud nine. I feel amazing. I honestly feel really good about everything that I contributed to this week, and I, um, I know that I think the judges are right. I will, I am truly awakened and I'm truly in this game to win it. And I'm gonna do it. You know what? I thought Whitney was just one of those girls that was gonna fizzle out slowly. But she's back on track for real this time. It's beginning to seem like her being in the bottom, almost sending her home was kind of like an advantage for her. She's now truly mature and she's truly grown up and she knows what she's doing. Like she knows the ins and outs now. She knows that she has to go hard and deliver every single challenge and that is not what I like to see. I wanna win this crown and I wanna win it for Canada. I can't let her get in my way because trust me, if she's in the bottom with me, oh, she's going home. But there's no chance I'm ever gonna be in the bottom. I'm not gonna let that happen. But I'm honestly so happy to finally still be in this competition and be slaying the game just like all of you ladies and, you know, I am a worthy competitor and that's the truth. Careful, all that cockiness could get to your head. Just saying. It happened to me, so... I don't want you to get too cocky and think negatively of yourself because I know you're not that type of girl. Little Miss Canada, Ari. What do I think of her? I think she's a bit cocky as well. Her telling me that I shouldn't be cocky and shouldn't be thinking I'm gonna get in the top or win more challenges. Which, let's start with you. You only have one win. B baby, you can't talk to me like that. I am going to knock her out of this competition. She's next. I think we're all forgetting one special thing. Congratulations on three wins, Zahavia. Oh my God, thank you guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm so grateful for even being considered someone who's better than um, my scene girls. Um, I'm really I'm really grateful that I'm, I get to sit here in the top eight and still be, and still have eight, three wins. It's, I'm just so overwhelmed and I don't know what to say, like, that will be properly of a thank you. I mean, having three wins in the competition is so, oh my god, it's just so crazy and it's just such a nice, amazing feeling and I, I couldn't wish for a better, amazing um, a and TM journey than the one I'm living right now, so I want to thank you. I'm just so grateful and it's amazing. I'm the luckiest girl on earth at this point. Having three wins is a great feeling in the competition. You really never know what your journey of ATM is gonna be like. It's truly like spinning a wheel and getting jackpot. You don't know what's gonna happen. And 
I'm so honored that I get to be the first model in the competition with three wins. It just is such an amazing feeling and it's indescribable how good and comfortable I feel in the competition, but I know that my hard work is not over yet. I've come here for a crown. Three wins will help me get to that, but I need to keep slaying and I need to keep giving it all because I am not going to be kicked out of this fight. No way. Yes, yeah, Zahavia, I'm honestly like gagged that you have three wins. Like, you truly are one of my like biggest com competitors at this point and my most biggest competition with, of course, this lovely lady right here. I mean, I'm so grateful for Liberty and Zahavia because you guys are truly the ones to beat, as well as you are, you too. Thank you. I'm honestly just grateful to have one win, let alone two. I honestly am so blessed. I've truly never been able to get a win in my whole life, and now that I've gotten it on this season, I feel like this is my time. This is my crown. I'm going to put it on my head. As much as I love Zahavia and I live for her, I love that the fact that she has three wins. Believe me, baby, I am going to try and get, I'm going to try and get more, to be honest. This is a competition, and I'm not the most competitive individual, but I will get to the finish line, one way or another. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm starting to feel a little scared because I was such a close call last week, up for elimination, almost going home. When she told me I was seventh place this week, I was relieved. I was so relieved. I was not ready to put up a fight that minute. I knew that if I was in that bottom too, I could have potentially gone home. And that is not the safest bet. I have to get another win. I have to go harder than I've ever hard harder before. This is a competition. And if you're constantly low or you're safe, are you really even here? Honestly, Kiana, that was such a close call. I really, really felt like I was going home tonight. Well, I mean, Brenda, you know that they wouldn't, um, you know that Carrie was the worst that week. I mean, come on, like, she was. I know, but I'm just thinking, like, hypothetically, I could have been the one to go, like, if you think about it, because I, they said, they gave me a lot of interesting critiques about my Ariana and um, it's, it really got into, like, myself. And I really want to study all those notes that they gave me. And I want to apply them to the next challenge. <sighs> you know, it would be such a dream come true to be the winner of this competition. Like, I would feel so pleased. That's a really good point. I would honestly love to be the winner of this competition. I think it would be such a huge accomplishment. I mean, just think about all the fame and publicity and hype it would mean to win a crown like this that would be just so amazing but i feel like i have a long i still like i have some ways to go until i can really prove myself as a winner and show the world who i really am because i i have a lot to give and i have a lot to show and i think that if i could even think of becoming a winner I think I would have to show the world who I am first and really open up and be raw and honest. Well, there have been many other winners in the past who haven't really shown their emotions, like Eliza, Felicity, like they, they came into their season completely feeling like an underdog and came on top. I would love that for me. That storyline would be so cool. Uh, but I think, I don't know, it's just, I get a vibe that, like, America's Next Top Model needs to have a good journey. And I feel like my journey, I'm really confident. I'm really amazed by my time here at ANTM. It's blown my expectations of this whole competition out of the water. I think ANTM is such a treasured franchise and everyone has their own opinion on who they see the winner to be, who they think could take it all and go and do what, what they want to the crown. I think if in some sort of way I improve and I, I show the judges who I really am, I really want to serve as a winner that everyone can relate to. 
a girl that has looked in the face of every single opportunity that's come to her. A winner that has been rejected so many times, but God telling her that her time is now. That's empowering. And that's what, what I think my destiny would be written as if I was the winner of this season. I'm really grateful to have a friend like you, Kiana. You're one of my biggest supporters in this competition and I only hope I'm the same way for you. So Ari, tell me, what is the modeling industry like in Canada? Well, you'd actually be surprised. It's really not that bad. I actually feel like the modeling industry in Canada is kind of more laid back than the one in the United States because, well, if I'm being honest, um, I've never really modeled in the United States. Not that much, at least. I've only done it once. And um, I guess it's a good experience. There's nothing really that I can compare at this moment, but I really like, um, I really, I, I, I mean, I really, I think I like the Canadian one more since I know more about it, you know? Yeah, that's fair. After you appeared on, um, CNTM, did you get more bookings? Um, yeah, I did. A lot of people wanted to shoot me more than, um, I actually, um, more, more people wanted to take photos of me. Um, I think because I was on TV, but I think, um, I think modeling is such an amazing art form and a great craft and... I'm glad that I get to be here to celebrate my craft of modeling and, of course, everyone else's because this show really is pretty cool, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've always wanted to be a model growing up and I think I've, I think, um, I've seen what other models are like and I've always wanted that for me, like Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, so many amazing models that I've had a lot of I looked up to a lot. Have you looked up to any Canadian models growing up? Well, you have a lot of models like Coco Robosha, Linda Evangelista, so many amazing models that I've looked up to growing up and I've always wanted to be like, you know, like, and like, you see these women modeling your whole life and you, and you think to yourself, God, there's no way that I can do that, you know? And like, you finally do it and it's like, wow. It's not as easy as I thought it would be, but it's it's a manageable career. It's a, it's a great career path for me. Getting to sit down here and talk to Ari is such a great experience. She's so much fun and she seems more relaxed than when I watched her on her season, to be honest. I'm really grateful for her and I'm honestly glad she's here. She's a huge competitor. I mean, coming from Canada, you, you have a lot to shoot. It's a lot to prove and a lot to show. And that is definitely what her journey here is like. All right, welcome to week nine of a and TM. Now, eight of you stand before me, and yesterday we crowned eight of you to be in the top eight. The competition is almost through, to be honest. It's almost time for the finale, but for the finale to happen, four of you must go, so we're gonna be sticking around for a little while. But enough about that. Let's savor this moment fully. Bunny, Zahavia, Callie, Kiana, Brenda, Ari, Liberty, and Whitney. You are our top eight. But tonight, we're gonna be doing an interesting challenge. For tonight's amazing challenge, each and every one of you will be a disco diva in our Studio 54 inspired challenge. Now, it's important that, you know, this competition is getting really cutthroat. Anything can send you home at this point. 
prepare for a very, very interesting elimination. All of you are amazing girls that deserve to be in this competition, but one of you will go home tonight. I expect to see you all at panel tonight. I'm so excited. Disco? Are you serious? This is such a fun challenge. We all get to embody a disco diva and truly show off our skills and I'm excited. I love all kinds of music and disco has really paved the way for dance music to be fully in the mainstream media and I am so excited to do this challenge. I know that this is this this week is really cutthroat. There's eight of us and every single one of us is a strong model. It's gonna be a lot to take in and it's gonna be a lot. But I'm thinking that I'm ready for the challenge. Welcome, top eight. Now, based on your, well, before we can move on to discussing who is safe and who is not, let's talk a little bit about your photo shoot this week. For our audience, let's show everyone the photos. Roll the clip. All right, ladies, I've made my decision. When I call your name, please step forward. Zahavia, you are safe. Callie, you are also safe as well. Thank you. Liberty, you're safe. Thank you. For the first time ever, the five of you represent the tops and the bottoms of the week. All right, here we are. Ladies, let's start out this amazing judging panel. Tonight we are only critiquing five girls considering that our decision revolved around only two girls being the worst this week instead of there being three. So, first up is Bunny. Hi judges, how y'all doing tonight? Good, all right, Bunny. This week was a Disco Diva inspired photo shoot. It was awesome, so rad. Such a fun concept that we've had for this season and every single picture turned out really well. Let's take a look at yours, okay? Yeah, let's, um, I, I, love, I can't wait to see this.
Hey, let's talk about your photos this week. Let's start with Mary. All right, well, hi, Bunny. <sighs> I don't know what it is, but I love this photo. You look like, somehow you're giving me 60s a little bit. I don't know why, but it's giving me a bit 60s, but it's also giving me a mix of so many other decades. But I think it works for this photo, to be honest. You look incredible and you look so beautiful tonight. This is absolutely stunning. I'm in, I'm in love with like this recent stream of photos we've been getting from you because this is just so freaking adorable and so cute. I love it. I love it. Well, hi, Bunny. Um, all right, this photo, I have to confess, when I saw it, I definitely got really obsessed. I think this photo of yours is so freaking cute. Like, everything but more than cute. The pose is great. The outfit is bomb. Everything is on point. Really, really flawless uh, work for you tonight. I love every single part of this inch of this photo. Um, word of advice, I know that you have come here to prove something, but um, I know every time that you've been in the top this week, you've had this wig on. Um, I know you've had it on, um, but I just think we like to see the more versatile side of you. That's what I think it is. Yeah, I have to agree. I think you're a really fierce model and you're really stunning and I, I live for every single inch of this amazing look. I think um, I think you've truly given us something to something to work with this week. I, it's, it's beautiful, it's perfect. Yeah, I have to say, you hit it right on the nail and a lot of my judges can agree that this is one of the best photos we've seen of the night so far. So, congratulations to you. Thank you judges so much and as for the wig, I do feel a bit on the on the fence about it because I love this wig. I think it's one of the most prettiest I've ever put on, but um, I need, um, hmm. you know, I just, I want to show you me and Bunny with Afro is me, but I, I'm also versatile. I'm a versatile bitch and I'm going to give it to you. All right. All right. Our next model up to the panel tonight, standing before us, is none other than the one and only Brenda. Hi judges, how are you guys tonight? Good, awesome. So welcome to panel, Brenda. This week, you and your sisters were portraying Studio 54 90s-esque purple glitter divas. <laughs> um, if you're wondering, yes, I did come up with this challenge idea. So let's take a look at your photo and we're gonna have to discuss a few things about it, okay? All right, let's take a look. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start this out. Brenda, you know we love you here. And this is um, very difficult to see you back here in the bottom. First of all, I have to tell you, you're in the bottom. Definitely in the bottom, in the bottom um, tonight. Um, I think this photo is so lackluster. It's kind of energyless and I don't know what I, I don't know if I, li I don't like this pose, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could sit here and tell you that I like it, but I, I really don't. I think that you are such a great model and I understand that you have such a presence in this competition, but that presence that we see but standing before us is not the presence that we see in this photo. It's a bit underwhelming, to be honest. I, I think that you're so much more than this and you know that, definitely. And I don't know, this pose is just so boring. I mean, but you look gr gorgeous in this photo, but there's more to being gorgeous than, there's more to being just gorgeous in when you want to become America's Next Top Model. Sadly, I have to agree, Brenda, you know you're one of my favorites here and I can't lie to you and I, I love you a lot, but it's just boring and lackluster and so just, it's just not you. It's so boring. I don't like it. I think this is one of my worst, the worst photos I've seen tonight, sadly. Now, um, of course, you're, an, you're a great model, Brenda. You're an amazing class act. You've got it. You're 
one of the most beautiful girls we've seen in this show. But this is such a lackluster shot, and I don't, I don't like it at all. You know what? Um, I just want to say that um, I, I agree with you all. I, I think this is a lackluster photo. Um. Listen, I um when I packed up for Antium, and um, I pretty much knew that um moments like these were gonna happen, and um, I pretty much could see that this was going to be be mo- a moment that would probably happen for me, and um, fuck, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> You know what I see in front of me? I see a model who is so vulnerable in herself and who knows that she wants to fight and be here. I see a girl who wants to be here badly and she wants to show the world who she really is. That's what I see. Though you fought so hard to get here, you made it, Brenda. Always tell yourself that. You made it. You're a queen, you're amazing. Keep your head held high and go for the gold. And tonight you could actually fight hard. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. All right. Our second model to step up to the platform tonight to get critiqued by the judges is one amazing Canadian queen. Ari. Hi, judges. How are you guys tonight? All right. Ari, tonight, you and your fellow sisters tonight had to pay tribute to disco and portray iconic disco divas. Let's take a look at your photo tonight. Are you feeling confident? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, this is honestly such a fun challenge and um, I'm so grateful to do it. All right, so I guess we should take a look. Wow, Ari, oh my god, this is so fierce, so, this is everything, honestly, like, I'm living completely for this photo, and I think you totally gave everybody a run for their money this week. Honestly, you are also one of the girls that we talk about on panel that is so in the know of controlling herself, and and always delivering and outperforming herself every single week and I truly truly agree with that with you like I feel that way with you yeah I um I do too I think I think you're really awesome Ari I, I love this photo a lot um I do think the legs are very iffy but I can get past it for you I think this is really really pretty I I like this a lot I now when I, when I say I can get past it it's just because you have so much presence in this photo and you're truly portraying yourself to be this amazing queen and I love it. I think your pose here is wonderful. Your body language is perfect. You actually look like you're probably dancing at, at Studio 54 right now. Hmm, who knows, maybe I am. <laughs> yeah, this this is just one of a kind. So you, this like this photo, if you covered the face, I'd still say it's you. Like that's how I, that's how good it is. That's how much I believe that it's you. Like I I think you truly took us to an amazing, wonderful area in this challenge, and you did it. You did great. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun, and you know you got such a presence to yourself, and you have grown so much since um, CNTM. And we love to see it. Honestly, we do. Thank you guys. That means so much to hear from you guys. I'm I'm honestly grateful you even picked me to be on this show because I never I thought after I was eliminated from CNTM it was it for me. So thank you. Thank you, Ari. Alright. Here we are. Our second to last queen of the night. The one, the only, the superstar, Kiana Monet. 
Hi judges, amazing to be here tonight. How y'all doing? Awesome, great. So let's take a look at your photo this week. As a reminder, the challenge was to portray a disco-esque pose that is so unique to you, as well as serve an iconic disco look. Let's take a look at your photo. Hmm, well, okay. So you and Brenda were probably the worst of the night, to be honest. There was this, now, I know audiences will wonder why there's not a third bottom girl to be op being critiqued. That's because literally the other state girls were better than this. For real, for real. I am not kidding at all. I really couldn't put any, I couldn't put Zahavia, Liberty, or Callie up for, up for bottom three because I know that they slayed this challenge harder than you and Brenda did, and I know that's difficult to, to know, but um, um, I think you could have done way better, to be honest. Um, this is just not a good pose for you. I don't like your arms. I really don't like the way your body language is. It just feels a little forced and a little bit rushed, to be honest. All right, okay. Yeah, I have to agree with Alexa. You know, I'm always that girl that is, always likes to call out the negative and just tell it like it is. And I'm just saying this is just one of the worst photos tonight, Kiana. I really, um, I honestly um, think you lowered the bar a little bit for yourself. And um, I'm, yeah. I think um, this, there's no coming back from something like this. This is just so, not the best photo this week. All right. Okay. I think um, your pose could have been so much better. I think you could have done something so much more than this, to be honest. I, I feel like you as a queen, you're an amazing singer and songwriter, but um, I don't know if, where, where's the model? Because she was here. The model, Kiana, was here. We want her back because this is just absolutely it's just not, it's just not right. You know? Yeah, I, I have to agree too. You could have done so much better and to be honest, this photo is just so not right. But I do have to give you points for your face. You look beautiful. Every single mug and makeup you wear, like it's so perfect. But I think overall the consensus of the judges is just, this is not what we expect to see from you, you know? I understand that. Um, I'm sorry that um, I didn't meet your expectations this week. I, I deeply apologize. I, I want to be here just as much as anyone else does. And just because I have a, just because I have songwriting credits on a lot of songs and I write music and I um, make money as well, I, I still want, I, don't, I more want the crown than I do want the cash prize because that would make my dream come true. And um, thank you, though. Thank you, Kiana. All right. Our last and final model tonight up for the bat on the ANTM panel is none other than the queen herself, Whitney. Hey, judges, how y'all doing tonight? Doing really good. All right. Awesome. Okay. So, Whitney, down to business. Let's talk about what you were supposed to do. All of your eight sisters were supposed to serve a disco-inspired photograph. Purple, shimmery, really goddessy, yada, yada, yada. Time filler, whatever. <laughs> let's take a look at your photo shoot. All right, yeah, let's see it, I'm ready to see. All right, judges, let's talk a little bit about this photo tonight. Um, who wants to go first? Oh, I will. Okay, well, 
Hi, Whitney. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this photo tonight. Whoa, whoa. Are you serious? Like, I just want to commend you because you have truly redeemed yourself. It's so funny how you started out as the underdog who really couldn't use her skills to her benefit. But now, truly, you have shown your growth in front of us, like truly have grown and you're so much more mature now. And it really, and it really shows tonight. Um, I think you've given us a lot of great, amazing, um, stunning um, moments the last two weeks. And now it's truly, you've truly grown up into a more mature Whitney. And I love to see it. I have to agree, Miss Whitney. You know I was out for you. I know you probably thought I was out for you for the remainder of the competition at the beginning, but um, you came out on top, slayed it, and um, ate all those girls up. How does that feel, knowing, well, your support, your support really does mean a lot to me, to be honest. Um, I love all y'all. Y'all are sweetest as heck. Like, I'm looking at all y'all, and I'm so, like, I blessed, you know, like, this is what I've been waiting to hear for such a remainder of this competition. And I knew I know I knew I was a star. Y'all did not need to tell me that. Because when I walked in, I'm a star knowing that I'm here. Exactly. You are a star, Whitney. You're a star because you're put on this show, to be honest. And I we've like we've said y'all here, this is your potential. This is what we wanted to see from you for so long. Now, the only thing we can tell you to do now is to keep it up because you're you're literally slaying the whole world right now. You're slaying us right now. Thank you. Thank you, Whitney. Yeah, she's right out there. Okay. <sighs> Brenda. What are you doing? I feel embarrassed. I'm so like, I'm hurt and frustrated. Why? <sighs> because I feel like, I feel like we're, we're up against each other tonight. And um, that hurts my feelings a lot because I know you're one of my like greatest pals here. And I feel so hurt that this has to happen tonight, and um, I didn't want you to think that I'm I'm glad I'm going up against you because it's one of my biggest fears. Brenda, listen, you have really showed me an immense, awesome part of you that I will never be able to see with anyone else here. Just know that the friendship that you showed me, I'll never be able to get real. You know, listen, I've been friends with Chelsea and she's kind of like this too, but I love Chelsea and I only can, I can only support and uplift her because she's talented and so amazing. And sometimes she gets a little bit in her head, but I know she just wants to, she's a good person and she means well. And I know you are the same way as well. I know you mean and completely well. So I'm, I'm excited to call you my friend as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies of the panel, let's talk a little bit about tonight and the decisions we have to make. So what are we thinking about winner of the challenge? I really lived for everything that we got to see from Whitney tonight. She has my vote for sure. Whitney has it in the bag. She is truly the realized form that we here on the judges panel have always wanted to see from her. Whitney deserves this win. It's symbolic right at this point. She did everything we asked of her. This challenge was hers. I'd actually say we give it to Ari. I mean, Ari has really true, like she's shown us tonight that she is the top model we want as well. Ari is constantly like, she's a new Kiana. She's up leveling, up, 
up-loving herself, really bringing herself up to a bigger platform. She's, honestly, she did it for me tonight. She really did do it for me tonight. I was honestly really happy with everything that she managed to pull off in the end, and she slayed it out, and I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing her win. But then again, we can't ignore, um, we cannot ignore the amazing, amazing skills of Bunny tonight. She is probably a really, really awesome model. Like, she's one of the best that I've ever seen. And I've lived, I live for everything that she's done in the competition thus far. And I mean, Bunny is, I'm sure she had a slip and a fall a week or two ago, but look at her now. She's back on track, completely in, in the zone and she's ready to go for it. And I think, I think she's worthy. This is honestly such a really tight race. Like these three girls of this week are, have really brought it this week. And I have lived for everything that they've done. It's honestly a close call. Let's talk about the two girls that we didn't give nice critiques to, Kiana and Brenda. Who should I keep? It's honestly hard to say, to be honest, at this point. Like, Brenda, I mean, she just cracked under pressure tonight, and she's never been in the bottom at all. Neither has Kiana also. It's such a shame because these two girls are some of our favorites of this cast, and it's hard to it's hard to say what we want to do you know it's it's difficult we have a lot going for this these two girls and to know that one of them could go home tonight is difficult but i i think we should keep kiana she seems more composed and brenda i don't know about her wait 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 a minute listen kiana is a class act but Brenda has wanted this and she showed us her fire tonight already in front of our faces. I mean, what what is this decision to make? What is the right thing to do? I don't know, but I think my choice would probably be maybe keeping Brenda. Brenda has a lot to show and she is a big time fan of the show. You can be a fan of the show. That's perfectly fine, but to be honest, when I think about it even more, I really, really, really don't think her being a fan of this show should be a reason for us to keep her. I mean, you watch this show, you should know what is wrong and what is right to do, you know? Personal experience, I can I can know what that's like to want to want something really badly, but you know, I think I've made my decision, yeah. All right, ladies, the judges and I have made a decision tonight. Here we go. Eight models stand before me, but I only have seven photos in my hand. The name on this photo, the first photo, is the winner of this week's challenge. The winner of episode nine Disco Divas photo shoot challenge is... Whitney. The judges and I were insanely proud of you tonight. You completely ate up everyone in this challenge. Congratulations, Whitney. I honestly am very proud to announce you as the winner of this week's challenge. Thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Nah, 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 boo boo, bitches. I got my first win, period. You know, a bitch was bound to get one. Honestly, now y'all can't call me a bottom bitch no more. I ain't not photo shoot batting for my life tonight. In fact, I'm sitting in first place of this episode. So go ahead and eat it. Get in your feelings, bitch. I'm the winner of this challenge. Bunny. Congratulations, you are second place and runner up for this week's photo shoot challenge. Congratulations. Thank you so much, it's an honor to be here. Welcome to the top seven. Ari. Welcome to the top seven as well. Congratulations. Liberty. 
congratulations. You are in the top seven. You may join the other girls. Welcome. Thank you so much, Alexa. Zahavia. Welcome to the top seven. Thank you. You may join the other girls. Kiana, you are an amazing model, but tonight the judges felt as if you were losing your spark and your creativity. Brenda, we know you're a very huge fan of the show and have been waiting to get on this amazing platform. But is that enough to keep you here? Brenda, I'm sorry, my dear, but you're up for elimination. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm so embarrassed right now. Like, I feel like I've really let down a lot of people who I feel are really rooting for me and have wanted to see me here for so long and I really don't want to go. I don't want to fight either. I want to fight to stay, but at the same time, I don't want to. I don't want to take this opportunity from Kiana. <sighs> Callie Green, you're safe. You may join the other girls. Thank you. Beyond words. That means Kiana Monet, Brenda. I'm sorry, my dears, but you are both up for elimination. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> if I was gonna be in the bottom two against anybody, God forbid it would ever be Brenda. Are you serious? Like, she's one of my biggest friends in this whole entire competition, and the fact that she could send me home, or I could send her home, is a scary thought. Really, really terrifying. Ladies, this is your last chance to prove to me and the world watching that you deserve to stay in this competition. At the end of this battle, I will only call one name to go join the top seven. The name I do not call will be asked to go home. Ladies, good luck. And for the final and last ever time, good luck and don't mess it up. Hello, hello, baby, you called, I can't hear a thing I have got no service in the club, you say, you say Just a second, it's my favorite song, they're gonna play And I cannot text you with a drink in my hand Ladies, Kiana Monet, Brenda, I have made my decision. Kiana Monet, you may join the other girls. Kiana, you have a lot to prove and a lot to show, and I think we're not ready to see you go quite yet. You may join the other girls. I'm incredibly honored. Thank you so much for 
keeping me. Brenda, although tonight you leave us, I'm proud of you. I really am. Deeply, I have been waiting to see you on this stage of ANTM, and I know the fans are going to love you, darling. You're an amazing, charismatic queen who I, knew, I know is going to get very far in life. Now, Brenda, it is with my deepest sadness that I must ask you to go back to the house, pack your belongings, and truly I, um, I couldn't ask for a better experience at this point. I'm forever grateful and forever honored and though this pain that I feel is unimaginable, my fire and determination has is still burning just free. Thank you so much for everything, Alexa. This has been one of the best experiences of my I could ever ask for it. And you made this competition an amazing and blew it out of the water, so thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Ladies down there, as much as it hurts me to go, there's just one last thing I need to say. To all the viewers out there, if you have a dream and you want to go for it, and you always get put down on your back and feel like you can't get up, try with all your might to get up and stand up strong and win. Oh, I know you love to watch me go, but... Oh, is it w 10 times better when I turn around and leave? Bye, bitches. <laughs> Just kidding. I love y'all. Well, I can finally check off a and off my bucket list. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, to be honest, I really walked in here with a lot of stuff I wanted to prove, to be honest. And um, I think I did that. You know, I showed the world that I could actually get on a and for once in my whole life, you know. And um, now I feel complete. You know, I am super happy and I, I love being a fan of the show and knowing that I got to be a part of it and make it so far almost to the finale. But, you know what they say. Um, I'm grateful, really grateful for this amazing opportunity that was presented before me. Not many girls get to go on their favorite show and of course I realize that because, you know, literally I... <laughs> work so hard to get here, so. What's next for me? Hmm. Well, this is not the last you've seen of Brenda, for once also. You, you have never seen the last of me yet. I'm still going to be that girl that gets all the bookings and slays and, you know, whatnot, but. Yeah, I've had a great time, great ride. <sighs> uh, where's the damn bus? So look what we have now. Seven amazing models left in our competition. Who will be the next America's Next Top Model? Comment down below your thoughts about this week's episode. I'd love to talk to you all in the comment section. Now, let's hit the music, girls. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,